Sunday, the All-Stars were back and in new colors, representing the North Side and the South Side. EMC News 3's reporter Matt Hagan was back on the sidelines, taking in all the excitement. Yeah, yeah, definitely fun. On this event, it's fun. Oh, yeah, I've had a great time. It's amazing. Oh, uh, man, I think it's real cool how they put this on for the city. The consensus says that the first annual Murfreesboro All-Star Weekend was fun. After Saturday's skills, three-point, and dunk contest, Sunday would be the big game, pitting the Northboro All-Stars in red against the Southboro All-Stars in black. The Southboro All-Stars featuring players from Riverdale and Blackman won the tip. Northboro was the first team to score, and their players are from Holloway, Middle Tennessee Christian, Siegel, and Oakland High Schools. The Northboro team kept up the pressure even on misses. Even with the close game at halftime, Northboro had yet to give up the lead, leading by 6, 40 to 34. Southboro came strong in the second half, though taking the lead and extending the lead mainly through threes. We're coming out three minutes to go, and the Southboro also lead by six. Even with this dunk to pull the North team within three, Southboro ended up winning the game 88-87, and after all was said and done, Darius Thompson was named MVP with 29 points. I mean, it's used for the first thing I go down in history as the first team to ever since then. Thompson also talked about his future plans. I uh, signed my letter in 10. I'm going to be playing at Tennessee University of Tennessee. Uh, I don't know. I ain't going to say I'm starting nothing, but I'm going to work hard for it. And hopefully, I'll be starting. Reporting for EMC News 3, I'm Matt Hagan. Zion Christian Ministries hosted the weekend long event. Bishop Christopher Johnson said the event will end up in each of the six high schools, and they plan next year to make it even bigger and better.